<laughs> okay, dude, you ready? I know words, I have the best words. I was by myself, backpacking around the Middle East, and I met up with this couple, this hippie couple, from Germany or somewhere in Europe. And they had these, these sugar cubes that had been dripped with acid. And I got on well with these guys. They're really cool, so they gave me some. So my last day of Petra finally arrived, and I was like, today is the day. I've been wandering around Petra on acid for like two hours now. I'm staring at this rock, thinking, does someone paint this? Or is this just naturally this color? It's tripping balls right now. I think it's just naturally this color. I don't know if I, my mind is just making up patterns, but I feel like I can see... <laughs> well, I guess obviously it's carved, so I can see it, but... I feel like I can see, make out the way it used to be. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But I feel like I can see, like... <laughs> Language is so clumsy. <sighs> Just found this little cave to myself. There was this view of the treasury in Petra from across the cliffside, and it's a really beautiful view. It was one of like the main reasons I wanted to go to Petra was to get to this view. But you needed to hike a mountain and bring someone along with you because of how confusing it was to get there. I wanted to go there so bad, but now that I had this acid, hiking some dodgy, potentially dangerous mountain with somebody wasn't the most attractive idea to me. I found this empty area of pillars. It was really cool. And I was like, this is my spot right here. I sat down against one of the pillars, and this is about an hour and a half now, so things are really starting to get trippy. And walking around kind of was overwhelming for me, so I just wanted to sit and chill. I just kind of sat there. I probably sat there for an hour just meditating with my eyes closed. I was just getting lost in all the shapes and colors behind my lids. Until these people, a group of people walked up and kind of disrupted me. And I was like, okay, it's time to get, to get on now. So I stood up and I went deeper into Petra. I was sitting down there by those pillars. And I was like, oh, this is the best spot in the world. And now I'm, <laughs> now I'm right here and I'm like, oh shit, this is the best spot in the entire world. Maybe I can go find more best spots. Maybe I'll climb up here and see what's over there. Ugh. I was just kind of levitating my way from rune to rune, just being blown away by the bones of ancient earth. I don't really know where I'm going, but... <sighs> This way feels kind of right. Being on LSD in Petra 
is like being able to walk around inside of a crashed alien spaceship. I see this huge structure carved into the mountain and I'm hypnotized by it. Literally, I just feel like I'm a disembodied awareness just floating around this place. And if you walk around to the side of this structure, there are these ancient looking stairs. Eventually you get to the top of the stairs after winding around the mountain and making your way up and you just get a vista point of Petra. You know, you can see pretty much the main area of the city. You can see the pillars where I was hanging out on and all the caves in the distance and you can see for miles and miles. It's a really incredible sight. I feel like I'm walking up to the gateway to heaven or something. There was this little pup up there all by himself. He followed me around for a little bit. If you keep hiking past this beautiful vista point and you go around, you kind of come up against this rugged, offbeat looking pathway, kind of like the back side of the mountain. And at this point, I'm just tripping balls. You know, I'm out of my mind, just following the beauty of each step to wherever it leads me. And I don't even care where it takes me, it's all perfect. Eventually, the more I hike, I start to see this huge monument peeking out from the mountain horizon. And there it is, baby. I've naturally climbed to the place I originally wanted to go, to the top of the treasury. There was a guy up there who kind of waved me over, and I don't know why I went over there. I went over there and sat with him. It was a really pretty, pretty view. And he's like, oh, where are you from? Thankfully for the language barrier, and for the fact that I said I was from Costa Rica, I didn't have to talk much because I could not even articulate if I wanted to. I was so just like in a different universe. Where are you from? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. <laughs> Welcome. So I kept hiking around and eventually came up to another guy that was had this tent built up that was directly above the treasury. One of the most breathtaking views I've probably ever had in my entire life. So this guy at the tent, he had really good vibes for some reason and I enjoyed my time sitting there with him. I did my best to talk with him. He gave me some, uh, some tea, some homemade tea that he had made and we shared a little bit of stories. 
difficult. He actually invited me back to his cave to where I could eat dinner with his family and he said I could stay the night there, but I was just too out of it, too in a different realm to even think about doing something like that. Otherwise, I, I would have done it. That would have been a crazy story. And if I ever go back to Petra, I'll try to manifest that situation again. So the sun was starting to go down and I didn't want to get caught trying to navigate my way on top of this mountain in the dark. guy invited me back to his cave with his family for food. By the time I got to the bottom, the sun was pretty much down, and it was just me and the local Bedouins and you know the people that live there. One thing I didn't like on Petro was the animal cruelty, and this was really amplified when I was on LSD. The horses, the donkeys, the camels are really overworked and treated a bit nasty. There's tons of wild cats and dogs roaming around. It wasn't uncommon to see a dead kitten laid out amongst the rocks. The Bedouins are there kind of dressed like pirates in a way. They remind me of Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean. They got this dark attire, headgear, eye makeup, long black hair. That mixed with the torture of the animals I was observing with this kind of rustic, runic background, it made for a pretty kind of spooky atmosphere. It was like the ugliest aspects of humanity were being amplified as they sucked dry the last bit of life that is in the bones of this place. And this, of course, was just me on acid. A lot of the people I met were beautiful people. So I got back to the treasury and the Sieg, and this is the home stretch out of Petra. The stars were out, the sky was vibrant blue and purple. I have never felt so thankful to be alive, and for no particular reason at all. For no reason that's not available to me in all moments, but I was able to tune into it. Like It was like for the first time I was able to look at existence, the beauty of existence, with no judgments and without any thoughts, just looking at the beauty and it just just it being beautiful because it is with no other attachments to it not it's beautiful because this or it's beautiful because that it's just beautiful so i don't know that's my experience of taking acid and petra i hope you liked it hope you enjoyed side note jordan's not a place you want to get caught with drugs it can be a really uh not friendly place to that kind of thing so i don't recommend it unless you are there and the universe for some reason gives you this opportunity, then I recommend it, but don't try sneaking anything into Jordan. You guys have no fucking idea. It was insane. So if you like this video, make sure to click subscribe down there. I have all kinds of psychedelic videos on my channel and spiritual videos. I think you guys will like those if you like this video. And if you want to support me, give this video a thumbs up or head over to Stay Happy Stay Weird. Stay Happy Stay Weird is my t-shirt company. I think you'll dig it. I got some cool shirts over there. Um, what else? I have a Patreon. If you're into supporting me, being able to do creative projects then head over to my patreon follow me on instagram facebook twitter all that stuff i'll leave all the links below for you i love you i'm glad you're here on earth fucking insane trip we're on right who knows why we're here or what we're doing but here we are glad to be here with you Hare krishna